What's up guys? <laughs> I decided to go up a little bit early. Uh, the little one got to bed earlier than I was expecting. So uh, I did decide to start it a little bit earlier. Hopefully some of you guys can still tune in, uh, the ones that were trying to come in at 1.30 or so. So, sorry again. Can everybody hear me okay? Looks like delayed chat and delayed video. <laughs> Try to get a camera right here. I have to get used to delayed chat. That's weird. <laughs> For sure. So today, uh, we are going to be doing a blind bag from a thrift store. This one was one pound, six ounces, I think. Uh, just of all sorts of stuff. Looks like there's a hole in the bag too. That guy snuck out. Uh, so we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff here. I'll try to, wow, the bag just broke. <laughs> I think I cut it open. Uh, I'll try to respond to chats as much as I can. It looks like it is a little bit delayed, uh, which I'll have to get used to. Um, new learning experiences for all of us. <laughs> Yes, I am hyped. Or hyped am I. <laughs> My buddy Master Yoda over there. All right. It's a nice little barcode here. Let's go ahead and get into this. This was totally blind. Uh, figured episode one of Blind Bag Live. I think that'd be a, a pretty cool series to do. Uh, comment if you <laughs> agree. We'll just do some of these uh, these blind bags as live streams instead of as just videos, and then maybe we'll upload the video for the people who could not tune in. Um, I don't know what timing that we're going to be able to do these on, what's going to be best for everybody, because I know there's some people that are uh, outside of the U.S., and there's some people that are, uh, you know, inside the U.S., <laughs> so that just definitely depends on, you know, what time it is for people when they're actually going to be able to start. I was thinking a little bit later, and then I got comments of, hey, do it earlier. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what that ends up being. Uh, I'll probably run a poll or something like that for you guys just to see, and maybe we'll switch it up a little bit too, um, just to see what's going to work best for people. So let's go ahead and dig into this. If you guys do see anything that you wanted me to kind of point out or anything like that, I don't know if you can from just that uh, size of the video, um, comment it and I'll try to see if I can actually see those comments. I have you guys pulled up on my computer in front of me as well. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to see all of that, um, you know, <laughs> while it's there. Uh, so first off, I do see right away, uh, I do see a good value guy right here. This is the episode three Spider-Man with his silver lining. I think that my favorite Spider-Man figs, I don't know why they went off of this, um, because ultimately this looks way cooler <laughs> to me anyways. It uh, looks way cooler than the new modern figures. Uh, has the back printing and everything like that too. Um, so yeah, one of my favorite, actually, probably my favorite. I like the dark blue more than the actual um, light blue coloring on Spider-Man. What are you guys' thoughts on Spider-Man? You, you like the older ones more than the newer ones? We do have <laughs> a male and female uh, rebel scout trooper here. We have an interesting <laughs> Mandalorian Super Commando, though. You, somebody saw Commander Fox's torso. Ah, look at that. Yes, with mustache. <laughs> Complete with mustache uh, and everything. That is, that's what Commander Fox really looks like. If he ever took off his helmet, that's what would happen. He probably does take off his helmet in Clone Wars, I don't know. You guys are going to be like, nah, he takes it off in episode blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Most people know all that kind of stuff a lot more than I do. Uh, we do have, I believe, the uh, Padawan version of Obi-Wan. Got a sweet motorcycle. Oh, two sweet motorcycles. Number four and number five if you wanted to race. They're on even playing fields, it looks like. Same exact bike. That's kind of a cool headpiece. This is actually what I got in the... Uh, the Snake Fisto video, the, uh, is that the same guy? Yeah, I think that's the same guy from Atlantis. I'm pretty sure. Uh, to respond to Master Yoda as well, uh, I, yes, I would love to open my store <laughs> to the world, uh, but I have not figured out logistics. Actually, one of the people who won the, um, $25 in, in the store actually lives in France, um, so I'm actually trying currently to get him his stuff. 
we have a motorcycle here, uh, and I'm figuring out how difficult it is to ship through the <laughs> through the entire world. Uh, for some reason, there's some people that sell minifigs and they say like four dollar worldwide shipping, and there is a four dollar shipping policy uh, that goes, but it has to be. It's supposed to be for like paper, um, so I'm not sure. It's like for flats, which is three quarters of an inch. So I technically guess you could like fit a figure in there, but it's supposed to be for paper, so I'm not sure how they get around that. <laughs> it looks like it starts at like. 13 bucks or something like that for worldwide shipping, uh, even for just figures. We have, of course, the pearl, uh, not quite light pearl, but the dark pearl gold C-3PO there. Um, the most expensive figure that I own personally. I actually don't own a lot of figures. I'll show you guys live exclusive for those people who are signed into the, to the uh, live stream. This is the only figures that I keep... <laughs> Uh, which is surprising. I have like a whole uh, Spartan army here because that was my favorite thing as a kid. Yeti, my favorite character of all time. This custom um, Black Knight that was in one of the figure halls that I got that looked really, really cool. Uh, that figure has its own <laughs> special value to me. We have Chewbacca with his gold bracelets <laughs> and the uh, Axe Blunderbuss. Um, this is me with my money suit, which is hopefully in the future. We have um, Gollum, of course, and then we also have the, um, the fig infamous figure, which is one of my favorite characters of all time. Well, not characters, but actors of all time. From Zombieland and such films as Solo. <laughs> uh, you, guys can, you guys can call that out, which one interesting you think that is. This one's definitely not Lego. <laughs> well, I don't know what gave it away. But he is definitely not going to be high on the value list in terms of my favorite or most valuable figure. Hello from Germany. Yes, hello. That's a long ways away. Never been to Germany myself. Uh, you know, hopefully it's in the list of going somewhere. You know, bucket list of places to go. That's definitely on there. We do have a Pirates of the Caribbean torso there. I don't think they had sunglasses back then. Ooh, this is a good one. I don't know what that face is from. This is the classic Batman, though. Old school. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, this looks like two faces. Torso. Don't have his face. That's what you get from thrift stores, though. I don't know what that is. That's like a Doctor Who fig, right? I've never watched Doctor Who. I know. Torch me in the comments. <laughs> I've never watched Doctor Who. Uh, but I think that's a it's not a Lego, of course, but is that Doctor Who? It looks some, something like that. Uh, we have some Wookiees here. We have Chewbacca and the Wookiee Warrior from the Catamaran. Somebody said Cyclops. I do see Cyclops now. That is definitely not real, though, because they didn't make a Cyclops. Or did they? I think they did make a Cyclops, but it's definitely not this one. Yeah, not even printed on Lego figures or anything like or Lego pieces. Doesn't look too bad, though. I don't know who made that, but it's fake. So in my world, <laughs> it goes in the trash. Um, we do have another Rebel torso. Good old clone torsos. Those are good to get. Looks like we have a couple of those. Phase one clones. I have a whole bunch of people like on Instagram and, and uh, on eBay that are commenting like that they just want to buy a zillion bazillion clones. <laughs> I cannot keep up with the clone stock. It's crazy. Go to Stormtrooper torsos there. Ooh, coming into value. These guys I was selling at one point in time for like two and a half bucks a piece. <laughs> and then the Mandalorian came out. Uh, and that is not the case anymore. Boom. So Mandos, all you Mando lovers. I actually, while I was looking at those Mandos, did just see this. Is that real? Is it real? It is real. This is Nightwing, the classic Nightwing, the super valuable Nightwing. Uh, he's missing his hair, which I don't see right off the bat, which is one of the harder to find hair pieces. Nobody commented Nightwing. Nobody saw that guy just sitting in there. I don't know if most of you guys are Star Wars fans instead of um, <laughs> instead of Batman figures, but that's one of the most highly valuable Batman figures there actually are. And believe it or not, I think I do have his hairpiece in my stock here. 
This is my uh, my valuable expensive bin. More exclusive looks. Look at you guys with your live stream capability. We get some exclusive looks behind the scenes. But right here, we do have, boom. Look at that guy. Super Nightwing. All right. That is a, a good, shocking discovery. This was, like I said, this was like 30 cents a figure. <laughs> I think it broke down to, it was 100 or 1.6 pounds, and I think I got it for like, I don't even know, 70, 60 bucks or something like that. Uh, but yeah, definitely one of the most highly valuable. I think he has black pants or black legs, uh, but one of the higher value uh, Batman figures out there. I think, oh man, he's cracked though. Oh, he's got a little crack back there. Dang it. What can you expect from a thrift store haul? <laughs> it goes from, these are the highs and lows of minifigure collection. You're like, yeah, that's the best figure I've ever seen, and then it's got a crack. <laughs> Which, of course, collectors don't want to pay $50 for a figure that has a crack on it. But, you know, maybe somebody will pay a pretty decent amount for that one. So, that is a great find. We're going to put him in the great find pile over here. I'm also going to put Spider-Man over there, because that's my favorite version of Spider-Man. Uh, we have some more non-Lego figs. This army trooper is just chilling here. This blockiness. Put him in the trash with Cyclops up there. Uh, ooh, we do have Jack here. It's actually a real Jack. Yeah. Real Jack. Look at that. With his face and everything. Just needs his helmet. I don't see... Right off the bat, I don't see his helmet. Maybe it's in here somewhere. I think I have a spare one of his helmets, though. So that should be fine. Cool. There's another $20-something dollar fig. That works out. We do have the Pirates of the Caribbean. I never remember his name. What's his name? Nobody's nobody's responding. What's his name? This is an Indiana Jones fig. I think this is one of the Temple Guards. I don't think that this is... What's that really, really expensive one? His name. I don't remember. I think this is just a guard. I don't think that's Jack... Sp is that Jack Sparrow? Oh, that might actually be Jack Sparrow's torso. I was thinking Will Turner. That's the, the name I was thinking of. Just the coloring is off. Uh, some of the comments here. Uh, do, 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 do. I love non-Lego figs. <laughs> that makes that makes one of you. Uh, Doctor Who fig is CB. Is that his name? I don't I don't know anything about Doctor Who, so I don't know what that means. Dark Blue Spider Man. Yeah, we going. I think that was the first one we went through. I think that was the first one we pulled up. That's an interesting figure. <laughs> we got space, space skeleton. <laughs> Good old thrift store hauls, I tell you what. You got a monkey. You can't get enough monkeys. Old school pirate monkeys. I love old school pirates. One of my favorite things ever. Uh, this actually is Pong Krell's body. Wait, we have two Pong Krell's bodies? Those are both Pong Krell's body, right? We don't have the top half. This is Ventress's face. We don't have the top half, but we have two Poncrell bodies, so I'll have to find some Poncrell tops. I think this is the Athorian, too. Athorian uh, Jedi from the Jack set, I think. I'm pretty sure, anyways. So those are good things to keep around. A lot of these are going to go in the mix and match like party packs. We have a dapper young Imperial <laughs> with this dapper hat. For sure. Mola Ram, that's who it is. Is that is that the actual is that the actual fig of Mola Ram? I know his headpiece has that weird like headpiece, but I don't remember if this is like his torso or if that's uh, the guard from the temple. Yeah, super polite Imperial there. That's nothing. Some more Mando. More Mandos. We got the bomb squad. There. Check the pink figure. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> um, that's interesting. I don't know. It's torn up, torn to shreds. Definitely not umbrage. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's going in the trash because I can't even like move it, and I'm terrified of <laughs> what it is. Uh, we have a Darth Vader here, the newer, newer age Darth Vader, missing his spongy cape. What else do we have? 
Clone faces. Always good to get clone heads. Uh, some comments here. Pink figures. Sorry, I don't even know who it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have no idea. No idea who that is. It's, it looks like a, maybe it's one of the newer space figs from that Benny's uh, like battle pack almost you could get from the space. I don't remember what that set was called. Uh, but it could be one of those or something like that. It looks like it's a space fig of some type. Some type. I don't know what that is. I think it's like a Pirates, maybe a Pirates of the Caribbean, something like that. What else do we have? Anybody see anything else? This is, uh, I don't remember, I never remember this guy's name. He, always has, he has that like red helmet. I think it's red, dark red helmet thing. I don't remember what he was. The pink figure was from series one? It's like a space... Hopefully not, because if it was a Series 1 fig, I'd be really upset because it's so trashed. <laughs> Obviously the wrong face uh, and everything like that, though, too. We do have a Pirates of the Caribbean mermaid body. Might have to get demonetized from, <laughs> from showing that. The, uh, the mermaid bikini there. Minecraft. I don't do any Minecraft, but there's your Minecraft fans. Intergalactic girl. All right, we got some... We got some figure knowledge coming through. We have Nia. Thanks for whoever corrected me. I don't know if it's one of you who's in chat. <laughs> when I kept saying Naya or something like that. Uh, Nia, with an N, stuck to her for some reason. It's a categorical system. Maybe that's what I need to do is start putting stickers on the figures so I know what they are. Uh, another Rebel Trooper, the female version. Director minifigure. Ah, yes. From the studio, we got the director, Steven Spielberg, here in the house. Oh, we have another old Batman. I think this probably came from the same set Nightwing was in, I'm guessing. The really gold versions. I think they did the they did the DC figs better way back when. <laughs> Call that what you will. <laughs> what that one is oh we have kai here a couple versions of kai it looks like with his hair snow troopers well duh we have to have snow troopers every lot has to have snow troopers and rebel troopers we haven't seen oh there's a rebel there you go every every single mini haul ever has snow troopers and also rebel troopers i love snow troopers too yes i love the battle of hoth in general that's definitely one of the the tops a little clone torso there. Always good to get clone torsos. We got more, more rebels. Australia, nice. That's way far away. About as far as you can get for me, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, we have a looks like a football player, non Lego torso there. Another clone torso. Uh, we do have an episode three yellow markings troop, but we have a shock trooper helmet. That doesn't really work. Kashyyyk torso. That's always good to get. I tend to agree, Lego Boba Fett. I definitely think that they are getting along that same line in terms of like the really classic ones when you have like Cloud City Boba Fett uh, and stuff like that. We're going to see some crazy value, I think coming down the years. It's hard to say whether they'll keep their value when they like redo minifigures and stuff, but there's another snow trooper. We'll see what happens to the value. I kind of go for the value right now. Like there's definitely been some speculation in terms of like how we move our business and if we like start investing, <laughs> there's a good one, investing in um, like new sets and then keeping them and storing them until they're more valuable, which is definitely a valuable or valid business plan, um, but just not it's not as safe, I think, and that's why I haven't really gone into that. Like, I like to know what the value of things are currently and then just get rid of them, just move through instead of keeping things and worrying about keeping everything temperature controlled and all that kind of stuff. I'd rather just move stuff through the store uh, and not have to worry about it at all. But there's definitely people out there that can store, like, whole warehouses full of, <laughs> full of stuff that they think is going to do well. Looks like it's just a night torso. Space Knight. Uh, 
yes, battle packs. That would be that would be nice. Uh, I hopefully they don't make any more battle packs like they did with that Jedi battle pack where they made like two clones and two Jedi's. That was just the stupidest thing I've ever heard of because battle packs are for armies, and then you just ended up with a whole bunch of Kiati Mundi and Barris. It was Barris, right? Uh, that were just totally useless. I think that's a Gungan torso. I don't know what this one. Oh, this is a uh, this is a Hobbit figure, isn't it? I don't remember his name, but I'm pretty sure that's the the markings of one of the dwarfs in the Hobbit. So I'll have to keep that aside and see what that one's all about. This guy's got the biggest sword ever. Invested 500 euro last year during all the winter sales so far. Got at least 50% on return on each. That That's the goal, man. Get get 50%. I try to go for like doubling my money, um, but that's not always possible, especially. But yeah, if you're already if you're already 50% back, that's that's a solid investment for sure. $100 in 100, oh, 100 sales on BrickLick last week. Dang, you're killing it for sure. Uh, you can't see the rare figures because they are not at my house. Um, I work with a business partner, and he has all of the figures at his uh, residence because he ships them all out. Here's another Indiana Jones figure. Go along with possible Mola Ram. I think this is Plo Koon's body, pretty sure. Plo Koon in the house. The Mandalorian pack. Yeah, it's interesting to see. The Mandalorians, I think, because uh, obviously these ones are now super expensive. <laughs> I sold my last pack, like, right before that all happened. <laughs> I had, like, a complete, uh, like, new in-box one, I think. Uh, and I sold it for, like, 30 bucks, and now those things are going for, like, 75 uh, new in-box. It's crazy. But, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if these ones um, are more or keep their value more than the Battle Pack Mandalorians. Um that one definitely, I think it's, it, obviously it's selling high right now because people can't find him in the stores, but there's just going to be a zillion, zillion, billion people that buy that. Kind of like these, when these first came out, there was just a billion people that bought these and they lost a ton of value because of that. Um, so I think the Bounty Hunter pack, if you look in like six months from now, the Bounty Hunter pack is just going to be totally worthless. There's just going to be, that, that was, it's not a set I would definitely recommend investing in unless you can flip it right now. Like right now, it's it's definitely got some value. Got another female fig there. That's the Indiana Jones uh, from Temple of Doom, which maybe that is Mola Ram because that was the FET set she was in. But yeah, I mean, in terms of, of you know reinvesting, I think the Mandalorian, <laughs> current Mandalorian battle pack, it's awesome to get like one of, but as a battle pack, yeah, I don't know. I don't see the future of that. Uh, doing super well. They're cool though. I mean, I guess you could mix mix and match or something like that. This one, I believe, this is a, a series fig, right? This is like the samurai uh, series fig, I think. Guessing. Comment below if that's what that is. Yeah, series fig. I'll have to look at what series that was. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that guy before or had that guy before. Uh, let's see. Take it easy. Uh, Kubinski, got to get an exam tomorrow. I've been there, been there. The man, bat at the bottom right. Not the most valuable, but I think he still looks cool. Oh, this guy, yeah, for sure. That goes in my monsters, <laughs> my monsters pile. Uh, I have a bin. I think I actually just put it on. This is what it is now, monsters. So I'll put him in there. Uh, I usually just sell a bunch of monsters, a big, huge pack. Usually that goes well during Halloween and stuff like that. Um, this is like a toy soldier. I'm guessing that's probably a series fig as well. Is BrickLink a good site to buy off of? Uh, it depends. Um, yes, from good sellers, it's awesome. I've never seen this guy before. I'm guessing he has a wind-up. Is he a wind-up toy? I don't see a wind-up thing here. But yes, BrickLink is really good. Uh, I do sell some things on BrickLink. I've put like some of my expensive sets on there. I do plan on expanding into that when I have more time, once the kids are both in school and stuff, um, and I have more time to kind of donate to it. Um, but there have been, you know, I haven't had all great experiences on BrickLink. Um, people consider used a lot of different ways. So I've gotten a lot of like, you know, torn up, bitten, cracked things from BrickLink that are advertised just like, you know, not like that. Um, so that's the only problem I've had with BrickLink, but BrickLink is a great, great place to buy Lego for sure. We have Captain America here for sure. Uh, let's take a look, catch up on some 
comments here. Uh, make, remake some Clone Wars Mandalorian sets, especially since Clone Wars came back. Yes, and I think also Rebels is coming back too. That's like the uh, the rumor mail. I just finished Rebels. I actually finished it like two days ago, the last episode of Rebels. And I think there was a rumor that that was coming back as well. So we'll see if that happens. We have the original Lobot here from Cloud City. He has a crack on him as well. But his face looks like it's in good condition. I have uh, a bunch of his torso, so that should be fine. Organizing torsos that I have is something I tried to take on the other day. <laughs> Really difficult, really difficult. We have an old school forestman figure there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a lot of people are looking for more Clone Wars sets. Uh, that UCS victory for the gunship, that was always a good victory. We do have the original, that's a good one. Um, focus. The original um, Catwoman. So the, the newer one has like purple on here. The original, this is actually like a $10 to $15 minifigure. If I could complete her, obviously I'd need her uh, headpiece and her hat. I think this is, is that a series fig too? I'm terrible at series figs. There's been so many of them that I just totally lost track, but that might be a series fig. It's very shiny, quite possible. It's got some detail on it. Comic-Con fig. I don't think this one was the Comic-Con fig. I think this is just like the darker pilot one. <laughs> Obviously, I'd love that to be the Comic-Con fig because uh, <laughs> that Comic-Con fig is worth like $1,500, isn't it? Something like that. Some crazy amount. Or the New York Toy Fair uh, Captain America Iron Man figs. Those are the big, huge, super value ones. Got a couple pilots. Those are always good to get. Rebel, or not a rebel, <laughs> Imperial Guards. I actually have two of them. This guy passed long ago, but there's a torso for him as well. An owl. A detailed owl. Some of these feel a little dusty. What can you get from a, uh, a thrift store? I think this is another Hobbit figure. Not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure. This is the life when you go through blind bags, unfortunately. I really like buying complete collections because <laughs> then I don't have to do any work. Um, but, I mean, you're not getting them for 30 cents a figure. So, man, I'm getting a lot of female racy torsos <laughs> in here. I didn't know Lego was so racy. Yeah, I do I do prefer, like, for the store, just instantly having a collection that I can just bag immediately and not have to worry about making everything correct. That's always the dream, but you don't really get those very cheap. <laughs> so sometimes you got to put the work in. I think that that's some kind of pilot. I don't know if that was a series fig too. We have here hiding. Is that a Lone Ranger? Possibly. Something to that effect. The Razor Crest. Yeah, the Razor Crest looks really cool. Um, I don't usually buy new sets until I start. Um, yeah, Jack Sparrow right there. Uh, I don't usually buy new sets until they start gaining some value. Um, so usually I'm not buying sets until they've been retired for several years, just how my business model works. Um, but it looks cool. Yeah, it definitely looks really cool. I I'm sad that they didn't do a... I think they're doing like the regular um, Mandalorian figure. Like They didn't make a special figure for it or anything, which I think is kind of a bummer. I think they missed out on that. Uh, let's see. Why wouldn't they make Django Fett's? Yeah, I think that's going to be something that they're probably going to remake at some point. Django Fett's Slave 1. I think it's something everybody's been waiting for for a really long time. Django Fett's Slave 1 or Solo Millennium Falcon. Solo Millennium Falcon's probably still too new, but you, you never know. You know, sometimes they, they remake sets just immediately. <laughs> kind of like the Death Star, uh, the UCS Death Star. Just they remade it immediately. Uh, Overwatch sets, I haven't gotten any Overwatch sets. I haven't seen that the value has been really worth it. Um, you know, I've kind of stayed away from personal LEGO collecting other than like some of the things for my childhood fantasies <laughs> in terms of things that I never got as a child. Um, you know, eventually, maybe I'll start building. Once my kids get a little bit older, I'll probably start building with them. Um, so that's something that we might get into is actually buying like current sets just for my own use. But I don't really buy anything current 
or non-LEGO, anything current uh, at the moment just because it doesn't work for business. This is all business to me, uh, which is hard. There's, there's definitely some love that goes you know, into it specifically, but the actual business model itself is to make money uh, as a business. So even though I love doing it, I don't really go through and purchase stuff for myself because I already have, <laughs> I think my wife would probably divorce me also. So it's probably good that I don't because I have so much of this dedicated from the business side of things that if I started collecting my own, <laughs> like my house is incredibly cluttered right, <laughs> right now she's she's been bearing with me as much as she can uh, but my house is like so cluttered with just the sales stuff uh of lego that i can't even imagine if i started collecting like my own collections that would just be a nightmare oh she... <laughs> it's a really detailed gun obviously lego didn't make it like that what's my favorite minifigure oh yeah <laughs> somebody Spotted the <laughs> the sniper rifle. Yeah, that's definitely fits. It's minifigure scale for sure. The Barrett. Uh, my favorite minifigure itself. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's hard. Uh, like I showed originally in the beginning of the live stream, uh, we had my collection here. So probably one of these guys. I don't know. I really like the Yeti. Um, and then there's a couple in here that have just kind of some, some personal connection to me that I've kept. Uh, they're not all super valuable. Um, probably the Yeti. That'd probably be my favorite. The Yeti was always my favorite character when I was a kid. So Yetis have always been like big in my, <laughs> in my screen names and stuff like that. Um, Genji and Hanzo. Yeah, those look like pretty cool minifigures, I would imagine. Those are really cool figures specifically. You're going to head off. All right, brick by brick. Take it easy, man. Uh, just in some day besides Lego. Yeah, Boba Fett Slave 1 has been done to death. Oh, my gosh. The UCS version was really awesome, though. Uh, they did a really good job with the UCS version. But, yeah, the, the Boba Fett Slave 1 has been... It's been done. <laughs> it's been done a couple of times, uh, unfortunately. And then that the Django Fett just had the one. There's some custom guns. Just had the one set, which is so interesting that they did the other one so much. Fake minifigure next to the DC policeman. I don't see that. Oh, we have Tonto here. I didn't see that. From the Lone Ranger. So maybe that other guy was a Lone Ranger fig. That one. Judging from we have Tonto. Lone Ranger never really took off. It doesn't do too badly. I think that's Lone Ranger as well. But it didn't really take off. Obviously, it only did like one, one go around, and then it was done. I've got an Urukai. Those guys spiked in price. Those are always really good figures to get. And a Horn Company troop here. One room has the selling stuff, one room is the playroom. That's a good idea. If I had an extra room, I probably would be able to do that specifically. <laughs> that would be that would be pretty great. Uh, here, fake Lego. Oh, we have Magneto's helmet. That was pointed out that I didn't see. That's kind of cool. Still not seeing the, uh, well, I see the fake helmet. Maybe I'm blind, I don't know. Uh, let's see some of the more of these comments here. Genji's helmet is the only time Lego made a helmet like that. Yeah, they probably did some custom um, molds. I know molds are really expensive for them, so they have to really put a lot of effort into that. Fan mail? Um, definitely in considering. Uh, I am going to get a P.O. box uh, for the business itself. So once I do that, maybe I'll release that uh, out to the world. And then we can do some fan mail or something like that. Now that we're doing live streams and getting more active. The problem with live streams, I, do, I just have too many commitments. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys watch Brick Attack too, but he has the same problem where it's like getting a time when it's actually quiet and silent in your house <laughs> is, is like pulling teeth. It's absolutely so ridiculous. We have another Tonto here as well. Uh, to try to find that time, um, two of these guys, to do that. So ultimately, that is those kind of things are hard to just like throw on a live stream and then... Uh, fan mail and everything like that. Obviously, you know, my house currently is kind of my business right now. So once we get a P.O. box and all that, 
Uh, once I separate everything, um, then yes, we'll definitely do more of that kind of thing. Uh, if you guys want to send fan mails or questions or anything like that, I'd definitely be more than happy to do some kind of video for those kind of things. I think that's a great idea. Um, just not quite there yet, <laughs> specifically. Uh, let's see, the next Captain America one, the light blue pants. Oh, over here. That's just a farmer. I think. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow, yeah. I found him. It only took me like 10 minutes. <laughs> there he is. That's not real? What are you talking about? It's not real. It's as real as it gets. And here was the, the police officer. The Batman police officer. It makes so much more sense. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Taking forever to try to get to that. Got the business suit here. Another female torso. I'm trying to flip all these over so we don't miss anything cool. What is the rarest figure I've found in a haul like this? Um, the rarest figure I've found in a blind bag haul? That's hard to say. I did just find Trelawney. That's probably the rarest figure I've found in a blind bag haul. Uh, it was the, the, I think it was the what, two pound blind bag video? Just not recent, not too recently, uh, or not too long ago, I should say, it was recently. Uh, I made that blind bag video and I found Trelawney, um, Professor Trelawney from the Hogwarts castle. Not the series one, but the valuable one anyways. Uh, so I think that's probably the, the most valuable one I found in just a specific blind bag. I did find, um, like right when I very first started, let's see if they're still in here. Right when I very first started, I did find this. Where is it? Oh, not those. It's down at the bottom because I haven't figured out what I want to do with it. <laughs> nope, is that it? Nope, not that. The suspense. Is the suspense getting to you guys yet? Here it is. Old grays. Nope. <laughs> not that. Why are those in there? It's all just a game. There we go. I did find this in a blind bag a long time ago. Um, wrong hips, so figure that out. Um, <laughs> but we did have Cloud City Boba Fett's legs. Um, so I was thinking actually just probably selling them on BrickLink as like one leg at a time in case somebody has one that's like dinged up or something. Um, but yeah, wrong belt. Uh, it does look genuine in terms of the printing and everything like that. Um, but yeah, Cloud City Boba Fett's legs. I did find that just randomly in some like $20 blind bag from a thrift store. Um, and that was like right when I first started. So that was one of the more valuable things that I found specifically. DX3, thank you very much, man. I definitely appreciate that. Hopefully that's the goal. I mean, we get up that high to those, to those Lego community, Lego YouTubers, <laughs> uh, m and Productions and Brick Attack and stuff. Uh, they're all up there. What's up, Max? Yes, me, me too. I don't know why that happened. It took me like forever to actually be able to stream from my phone, which is my current camera. Uh, YouTube was just not letting me live stream from the camera and I don't have a webcam or anything. I, bet, I guess I could have gotten a webcam, but I just preferred to do it exactly like I did the videos where it's just kind of like the overhead view of everything um, and just kind of go from there. We do have Lando here. I didn't see Lando. I think that's the, this is the old version of Lando that has the gray gray helmet. So it's not this one, but it's the gray one, I think. Found the Dr. Lightning torso in the middle towards the left near the blue-bodied battle droid. It's an adventure fig. Blue-bodied battle droid? I didn't see a blue-bodied battle droid in here. Is that in a different video <laughs> that you're talking about, Rick? The Dr. Lightning torso in the middle towards the left near the blue-bodied battle droid. Anybody else see that? I don't know. Oh, blue-bodied battle droid. There we go. <laughs> Not, uh, I was thinking super battle droid. I was like really excited. There was like a metallic blue super battle droid in here. Dr. Lightning. This one, I think. 
possibly. Favorite Star Wars trilogy? The originals. I'm an old guy. I'm not a young kid who came, who was, <laughs> you know, I'm obviously not super old, so I didn't, I wasn't a, a kid when Star Wars came out originally, but I prefer the original trilogy to the new, well, obviously to the prequels and then to the newest one. It's, it's definitely not there. I think the spinoffs from Disney have been way better than the storyline um, movies for sure. Like, I actually really enjoyed Solo. I know some people didn't, but I actually really enjoyed Solo. I, I love Rogue One. That's one of the tops in my, my opinion as well. You have a 10123 Boba with no legs. Well, I got your legs, man. It doesn't have the belt, <laughs> but I got the legs. Lego should bring Assassin's Creed Lego out. Uh, Assassin's Creed, I think Mega Bloks did that. Uh, right when I started, I think I have a, a Mega Bloks um, set. There's a non Lego fig. A Mega Block set that was Assassin's Creed, I believe. I don't know if I think it's too dark for Lego though. They probably don't want to get into that, which is funny because like all of the themes they do, like pirates, is super dark technically. <laughs> Knights, all of those actual eras were incredibly dark and violent, and yet that kind of stuff's okay. <laughs> it's funny what what blurs the line and what doesn't uh, when it comes to Lego's decision. We have an old stormtrooper here as well. Found the fig, Rick. Yeah, <laughs> a little delayed for me. Uh, so sorry for the the uh, instructions. It took me forever to find that. Yeah, that was an adventurer's fig for sure. I don't remember any of the adventurers' names. Uh, I did actually get a couple of the adventurers' sets in that last uh, set haul that I got. Um, I don't think they have a tremendous amount of value, but some of them are pretty good. These are both from Lone Ranger, I think, as well. Knew about six to seven dollars. I think he had that kind of like weird face print, right, with the glasses. Is that what that adventurer's fig had? Ventress torso, yep, on a Mandalorian. Mandalorian Ventress. We did see Ventress's head earlier. I don't remember where I put that. Somewhere. This looks like the uh, Republic guy from the really huge set that nobody really wanted. <laughs> what is that called? It's like a Republic... Uh, I don't remember what that's called. It's like that huge red ship that doesn't really have a lot of good minifigures to it. It's just not really a very popular set. Republic something. I think that's pretty much it for this haul. I've, I have a ton of these. Like, I've done really well in the blind bag so <laughs> sourcing lately. Uh, so I have literally a ton of blind bags to go through. Uh, so I'm thinking about either doing all of them as live streams or um, possibly doing some of his videos. This looks like a detailed fit. Oh, this is uh, this is Rex. Nice. I don't know if that's from the Rex Celsior. Rex Celsior? Rex Celsior? Rex Celsior? <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Uh, or his other set. But I actually haven't gotten Rex before. Too new for me to, to be interested in at the moment. But he's, he's probably gaining some value now. I think those LEGO Movie 2 sets are going out of the stores. That's when I strike. <laughs> I don't buy anything from stores, really. I don't buy any sets. I probably should. The ones that I know are going to do well or have a feeling they're going to do well. That's a series fig, too. That, like, Cleopatra Egyptian person there. Do you know where you can get ch brand new figs for cheap? Well, if I knew that answer, then I would be doing a lot better than I am now. <laughs> and I probably wouldn't tell you. I wouldn't share those dark secrets on the dark web. Uh, we do have another Hobbit figure. I think that's Bilbo. Yeah, there's definitely no secret when it comes to this kind of stuff. Everybody always asks me what's the secret. It's just timing. Being in the right place at the right time. Finding something. I think that's a Lone Ranger. Possibly. Or an Adventurer's Torso. Right place, right time. That's about it. There's not really any kind of secret formula. I don't see anything else in here. It's just a regular Imperial guy. Got Akbar's head. Disregarding nostalgia and resale value in sets and minifigures, do you think Lego has overall improved from, let's say, the 80s to now? <laughs> Disregarding nostalgia. Oh, that's hard for me to do. <laughs> that's so hard for me to do. Because that's all I, you know, that's that's why I'm in Lego is from the nostalgia 
you know, the old space sets and everything like that uh, is why I got into it. So uh, it's definitely hard to say. They're definitely more detailed, but I think they put so much more effort into the vintage sets in the 80s with the flaps and you could see like all the pieces that were really cool. I think they did better in the 80s. Uh, they didn't have to actually license their themes. So obviously Star Wars wasn't there, uh, which sucks. But ultimately, I think the 80s sets were better just because they put so much more detail. They had alternate builds on the back of everything, um, even though they aren't so, you know, they weren't all super good. They were still alternate builds, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, uh, I think the 80s sets were, were a lot better. Um, with that... Uh, let's see. We'll answer the, the last couple questions here. I'm going to wrap it up here. I think my kid's waking up, so I'm going to have to go. Um, but that was a great live stream. Thank you all, guys all for coming. Let's see if I can wrap some of these up here. Uh, I'm looking for 4G and Ocean clones. Two hit, hit me up, Noah. I definitely have that for you. Um, Black Torso was from the Adventures. China sub the one you had 30 seconds to go in your hand. Oh, Adventures. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, so take it easy. Thank you all for joining the very first live stream. I think that went well. We'll do more of these in the future. Uh, I do appreciate you all for tuning in. Uh, love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.